Tonight, boys basketball is taking on Munich Starkweather while the girls match up against Rolla. Meanwhile, the Firebirds take the ice to face Dickinson. King led the Cubs with 15 points against Rolla. The boys took on Munich Starkweather while the Firebirds scrapped with Dickinson at home. The girls claim the deciding win over Rolla in their second win of the season. Let's check out the highlights. Heisler feeds it to King for the first three of the game. Heisler left with the open shot, steps up for the easy basket. Ellsberger gets it out to Mars and she does the rest for three points. Ellsberger throws this one up for two of her nine points. King drives in and makes a nice shot for two. Ellsberger takes a shot from way outside and sinks this one. Once again, Heisler stays inside and makes this shot look easy. Wagner gets alone on this one and makes a good shot. The Cubs win this one by six with King scoring a team high 15 points and getting five rebounds. After falling to Valley Edinburgh, the Cubs were looking for a win over Munich Starkweather. When it was all said and done, they were victorious by a margin of three points. Coral Amphitson's presence in the Cubs lineup this year has given them an offensive boost. Amphitson receives a pass from Gibbons and hits his first three of the night. Krebsbach shows his speed and beats the defenders for an easy layup. Gowan gets a pass from Amphitson and gets the basket with two defenders around him. Poole getting some playing time shows he can knock down a three. Bell acrobatically saves this one, and even with a man open, Amphitson finishes it off for two. Gibbons feeds Gowan the ball, and he finishes with the basket and one. Gibbons shows a move and gets inside for two of his four points. Krebsbach beats everyone down the floor and puts this one home. The Cubs just squeak by in this one with Kresbach and Gowan both scoring in double digits. This is the first hockey game in CHSPN history. The Firebirds took on Dickinson in what proved to be a great game. Jerome takes the puck up the ice and feeds it to Everson as he buries the puck for the first goal of the game. Off the faceoff, Hanky gains control of the puck and passes it to Flum for the Firebirds' second goal. With the Firebirds on the power play, Miller takes a ripper from the top of the circle to put the Firebirds up by two. Trottier gains possession off the faceoff as Jerome finds an opening between the Dickinson defense and bears the puck top shelf where Mom hides the peanut butter. With Dickinson on the attack, Hanky makes a diving save to freeze the puck. That's all for this edition of Sports Center. Remember to tune in next time for more sports action. The 2004-2005 winter sports season is upon us. Both the boys and girls basketball teams have played a few games, and each team has a tough opponent tonight. The Devils Lake Kandu hockey team is also underway with four players from Kandu seeing a lot of playing time. The girls basketball team is 2-6 and six, entering tonight's game versus St. John. They're looking to pick up a few points in the district and move up in the standings. Let's go to the highlights. A big key to the Cubs' success this year has been Ashley King. She has really stepped up her game after the loss of the team's inside presence Alyssa Larson to graduation. Martz catches Ellsberger cutting out of the corner of her eye and Ellsberger gets an easy two. King misses her first shot but she pulls down one of her eight rebounds of the night and makes a tough shot in the lane. Martz puts up another assist on this play as Heisler gets the bucket and a shot from the charity stretch. Martz picks her pocket for one of her two steals and puts in her only score of the game. King takes a few power dribbles and goes right by the St. John defender for two of her eight points. The Cubs, paced by Ashley King, down the Woodchucks to improve to 3-6 and six on the season. The team is looking to go on a run in their next five games with four of them against district opponents. 
can do boys team is three and five coming off a fifth place finish in the Park River Tournament. Tonight they face a strong Valley Edinburgh team. Antonson threads the needle as he finds Gibbons cutting to the hoop for two. Gibbons scores again on the baseline with a roll that you will only hit on your home court. Bell picks up the loose ball and finds Krebs box streaking to the other end of the court for two of his seven points. Gowan takes it strong to the hoop and is rewarded with an extra shot from the free throw line. Anthonson knocks down his only three of the game. Gowan flips it to Krebsbach who goes right by two defenders and elevates over another to score one more of his three baskets. The Kandu boys lose another close one to Valley Edinburgh by two, their fifth loss of the season by seven points or less. They now stand at three and six. The Devils Lake Kandu Firebirds enter the game with a 2-8-3 and three record. Tonight, they face off against Dickinson. Here's Travis Peterson with the highlights. Jerome takes the puck up the ice and feeds it to Everson as he buries the puck for the first goal of the game. Off the faceoff, Hanky gains control of the puck and passes it to Flum for the Firebirds' second goal. With the Firebirds on the power play, Miller takes a ripper from the top of the circle to put the Firebirds up by two. Trottier gains possession off the faceoff as Jerome finds an opening between the Dickinson defense and bears the puck to top shelf and Mom hides the peanut butter. With Dickinson on the attack, Hanky makes a diving save to freeze the puck. That's all for this edition of SportsCenter. Tune in later for more Cub and Firebird highlights.